what's going on guys hope everybody's having a good day out there uh, this is going to be another installment on our how-to series and what we're going to be doing today is uh this is a smallmouth bass this is caught on wilson lake here in alabama chris managed to catch this uh, fish here and what we're going to do is a how-to on how to how to do a fillet off this fish here so uh with that being said a lot of it's not going to be much different than our bass fillet that we did uh we'll make the same cuts along with uh, trying to uh, get around those pin bones and uh, get this fish filleted. You don't have to do it the way we do it, but uh, this is just how we like to do it to where we can utilize everything that we can get off of this fish. With that being said, guys, let's dive into it and let's get this fish filleted. All right, guys, just like any of our other fish I was talking about, there's a lot of meat up in here that we don't want to let go to waste. That a lot of guys come in here and they come straight across and they leave a lot of this so let's try to get as much of that as we can so i'll angle my knife up into the head area and i'm right behind the gill plate and i come down and what i did was that knife is sitting straight down on the fish's vertebrae i've got to cut all the way across now guys i'm going to flip it around and what we're going to do clean my knife off this is handy too guys always have you a good piece of wood here it helps to hold the fish steady and you gotta bear with me here because it's hard to film this and do this at the same time bring your knife in and just like before like on the on the bass we done once you go down we're going to turn this knife and we're on that fish's back bone and i'm letting that knife plunge in and touch the top of the rib cage i can feel the i can feel the top of that rib cage in there and what I'm doing is I'm letting it go down the top of that rib cage. I'm bump, 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 bump. And I'm fixing to pass it here. And when I pass it, which is right here, right at the fish's anus. Try not to get a shadow in it, guys. Plunge that knife all the way through. And what I'm going to do now is keep that knife at a downward angle. Keep that knife at a downward angle. See, it got excuse the shadows and stuff. I'm trying. And let it ride on that backbone. And when I get here, I'll come all the way through. So what we're going to do now, clean my knife again. That piece of wood's handy. Come in here. And I'm staying on that fish's backbone. But you can hear it clicking as I'm going down along the edge of the ribs. And what I'm doing is I'm coming to right here because there's some pin bones. And you hear it where I'm cutting through those pin bones. And when you cut through those pin bones, they're not hard to cut through. What's going to happen is you're going to be on top of the, the fish's rib cage here. And you stay on it in a downward angle, letting that knife glide across the top of those ribs. So we get to this point here where the belly meets the side and we trim that off. Then move this out of the way. Then you're left with this nice fillet right here which still has a skin on it. But right here, just like on a largemouth bass and a spotted bass, you got a section of pin bones. And for some guys, this may not be worth it to them to save to get this much here. But for us it is. Like I said, if I took this fish's life, I want to get as much out of it as I can, but you can see there's a little line right here. This line, you can hear the clicks. Those are pin bones. Take your knife, you can feel the last one there, and put it in there and let it ride right beside it. Same thing on this side at an angle. Now what I'm going to do is come in here and cut down until I touch the skin and turn my knife level with the skin and I'm working it through it at an angle down toward the skin trying to get as much of this meat off as I can so now you see we got that whole fillet off we discard the skin and what you can do now is that right there is that area that you've seen me cut into those pin bones are right there so you can take that little area that I got and you just pull that out and you're done 
that right there is a nice fillet and unlike some guys where they lose every bit of this here you've actually uh, got extra meat off that fish but guys that's how you uh, take a fillet off of a uh, smallmouth bass and um, I'm not going to bore you with doing the other side. We'll try to keep these videos short and sweet. That way, uh, we know a lot of guys, It's uh, when you get out here, you're trying to research something to find out what you need to do and how you need to do it. And uh, we respect that. But um, as always, if you enjoy our videos, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, don't hesitate to hit that bell. That way, you're notified any time that we upload any kind of videos. But uh, as always, guys, we appreciate you. And God bless. Thank mm -hmm. you.